Hi there again, it's Jen, your motion friend. In this video, I'm going to discuss Motion's projects and tasks within this video. This tab serves as a centralized place for organizing and tracking projects and tasks. The main elements in this tab are the workspaces right here, as well as the projects and the task. Let's start with the My Task. This includes all personal tasks created within this workspace, as well as all projects and tasks assigned to you. Shared workspaces are workspaces that team members can access. Workspaces allows people in motion to create dedicated areas for specific teams or departments, enabling efficient collaboration and organization. For a sales team, for example, it could be leads, client onboarding, sales pipeline management. And as you can see, there is a sales pipeline management one here, and there's a bunch of other different workspaces that teams can collaborate in. Within a workspace, there are also projects. I'm going to go ahead and click on the marketing one right here. And a project is, you know, specifically where you have a certain goal. For example, in the context of a sales team, each project can represent a different client. And here are a couple of projects we have right here. We have um, the, here we go. We have project A and then we have projects B and C. Task and motion refer to individual units of work that need to be completed within a project or workspace. They can be assigned to team members, have due dates, and can be tracked for completion. So here you're going to see in the list view, these are the tasks all right here within marketing. On the upper right hand side, you can also see that there are different available view options. Right now I'm currently in lists, but there's also Kanban, there's also projects, and then there's tasks. I'll cover the list view in this video, but I want to show you quickly how to use these views so that you have flexibility to see your projects and tasks in two views, list or Kanban. If you want to see your task in list form, you just select here, list, and it's already on task. This is the view we're seeing right now. You can then also select Kanban and task right here, and then you can see your tasks on a Kanban board. This same goes for projects. You can select list and projects or Kanban and projects. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the list view, as the name implies. So currently, you'll see all the tasks within a workspace in list view. Here you can filter tasks and group them by status, assignee, etc. You can also sort tasks in this view by the following categories, and I'm going to show you right now. Right now, you see all the tasks in list view. If I wanted to, I could sort them by priority. I could also sort them by the project itself as well as the assignee and see all the ones assigned to, to my dummy account, Emily, and the ones assigned to my other account, Jill. And lastly, we have the default view right here. In the default view, what you can do is you can, this is the view currently, but you can add a custom view. The custom view right here, you can actually add any name. I'm going to put custom view for Jen. I'm going to save that. And in this view, this is the one that I want to see, right? And I could also kind of move things around. Like if I want to um, the columns you can move around, so you can move around uh, labels, assignees, as well as blockers with these three dots right here. And you can also do the same with any of the tasks on this side. You can move these around as well, which is great if this is a certain view that you want, as well as being able to move the workspaces around. Let's say I want the leads all the way at the bottom. I want home renovation um, up. I can move that up. And everything here is totally customizable to you, and this is the custom view for me. Or I can go back to the default view, as you can see, which I clicked. But if I want the custom view, there it is. And then the custom view for Jen. Another cool project or thing that you can do for projects is in any view that you want for a custom view for me, you can go ahead and click which, uh, which parts you want to see. So let's say right now I wanted to see when it was created at. I could click that. Let's say I also wanted to see when it was updated. And let's see why I want to see who the project was created by. Currently, I'm doing all this in my view. Um, but if I went back to default view, again, that's the other view that originally it was on. Going back to the custom view for me, I could change columns any way that I'd like by adding this plus and minus. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the blockers. I'm also going to remove the labels and I'm going to remove the assignees. So it's really customizable to any way that you want. And this helps you view your tasks a certain way without having to add different filters each time. This concludes this video. I'll be talking next about the task model and more about projects. Good luck on your projects. Thanks.